the busy highways of Southern California, in one of the busiest centers of the world's economy, suddenly stopped due to COVID-19. Streetlights flashed red, yellow, and green in emptiness and silence as the roads and cities came to a halt. Streets and schools, stores and churches, even public events all locked down. Not just around us, but all over the world. The uncertainty of this time grabbed a hold of humanity as we all hesitate to act normal while trying to find our way in this new world. Like other athletes, boxers had to restart their careers. Resuming their daily routine was a daunting effort, coupled with the fact that none of them have any idea if all their work will result in a fight or a spot in a show. All a boxer knows is to prepare, sacrifice, and find motivation when things are difficult. A boxer's first priority is showcasing their ability and to be better than the opponent in front of them. All a boxer wants is to win, to be victorious over foe and mind. But today, every boxer has a greater challenge, one that's unseen and untouchable, one that stops you in your tracks and makes you question everything you know. But like in triumph or defeat, they shall again prevail. You might think you have an opponent on Monday, but come Tuesday, it's been changed. Come Wednesday, you might not have one. An opponent that you have no clue who he is. You didn't have time to study. During this pandemic of 2020, where sports have been shut down, people out of work, an opportunity to fight, that's all you want. That's what boxers do. For Katsuma Akitsugi, 3-0, 1KO, 127 pounds, get into the ring. That's what you want. Improve your record to 4-0. Keep on climbing. Keep on building that record. Keep getting exposure. That's what Akitsugi wants. He wants an opportunity to open up some doors for his career. David Angeles with the record of 1-2 and two out of LA. A fighter that knows that he's coming in as the opponent. A last minute replacement. At times it can be very, very dangerous because they have nothing to lose. When you're on a club show, and you're the opening bout, and you have less than 10 fights, you're not making much money. But that little bit of money that you are making is gonna go to help your family. You're hungry, you need it, and heck, if you get a victory to get your record of two and two, it can change the way the sport of boxing is looking at you. I think the pandemic has had a profound effect on, on boxers. Um, the way they train um, and how they're fighting with, without an audience. And it's almost like, um, it's like they've been, it's the equivalent of having been sort of semi-retired for a year or two and th then getting back into boxing. Big opportunity for El Yuyu Acosta. Yeah. Huge following in Sinaloa with his family. They love him in Whittier. He sells out the double tree. Well, this time, an empty venue. I want to see how he performs. I think he's learned a lot from his loss to Ruben Torres. Continues to evolve. A good fighter, good scrap. But he's fighting somebody who's a last minute replacement. Alonzo, the original opponent, rolled his car. Thankfully, he was uh, fine. Walked away from a nasty uh, car accident where he rolled it. And a last minute replacement can always be dangerous because you don't have time to prepare for them. Yeah, for, for Lopez and Bustos, it's, it's a chance for them to get on the board. It's a chance of, for them to earn recognition. Uh, both of these guys are unbeaten. Uh, Lopez is unbeaten in nine fights. Bustos is unbeaten in 13 fights. Um, they have a lot to offer. Uh, I think that Lopez is, is an aggressive fighter. Um, he's a, as a combination puncher. He, he has a good body attack. He's got a good trainer. I know he's got that foundation because he's trained by Henry Ramirez, 
And the same thing for Bustos. And he's a tall, rangy boxer puncher. Um, he was started out by a veteran trainer named Clemente Medina, and now he's trained by Manny Roper. So he's had two world-class trainers um, build his foundation, and he's, he's ready to fly. Uh, Saul Bustos, uh, I don't really know too much about him. I know he's 12 and 0. He's pretty lengthy. Should be a fun fight, man. I'm excited that when they told me about this. I, I got really motivated to fight an undefeated fighter just like myself. So I really want to test myself, and I'm ready to go. Uh, my start in the sport started when I was 10 years old. My dad took me to the boxing gym. Uh, I fell in love with it right when I witnessed it. I fell in love with the training, the sparring, all that. Uh, the COVID affected me pretty, pretty hard. A couple of my family members caught it, two of my sisters, they tested positive. Uh, thankful, thankfully, they're doing pretty well now. Um, it's been hard in the gym. A lot of guys haven't been coming just because of that reason. Nobody wants to get sick. So it's kinda, it was kind of hard to get sparring here and there, but we're all working through it, trying to get through it. Because of the pandemic, there are less shows. So if you're a fighter who's turning down fights, out of sight, out of mind. Respect to both uh, Louis Lopez and Sal Bustos for putting their O on the line and saying, yeah, let's go. Let's get into the ring, let's fight. I love that attitude. Both of them are gonna come at it. They're both gonna fight each other. They're both gonna attack. And they could easily say, you know what? I'll fight somebody with his record in a year. You know, down the road. Well, down the road doesn't happen anymore. Respect for these two warriors to get into the ring, say, forget my record, forget his record. Let's get after it. It's gonna be a heck of a main event. Well, I'm really looking forward to the main event. Like I said, um, I'm familiar with Bustos. Uh, I've seen him around the gyms. I know he has talent. Um, I know that, that Louis has is, is got a great foundation because Henry Ramirez is a ter terrific young trainer. Um, I think it's a really good matchup of styles. You've got the aggressor, the stalker in Louis, and in, in Bustos, you got the dynamic boxer puncher who also has height and reach and, and size uh, to his advantage. I think both guys are coming into their own as far as their, their boxing identity um, as prospects. And I don't know who's going to win this fight. And so I'm expecting to see them grow up a little bit and, and to show me something uh, different. I think the winner of this fight is going to exhibit something that we've never seen from them previously. Uh, and that's something really special. And uh, it's always great to see um, uh, an up-and-comer go from unknown to a known prospect um, and follow in those footsteps of uh, other Thompson Boxing uh, main eventers like Tim Bradley or Danny Roman or Ruben Villa and, and just kind of work their way up that ladder. What I know about my opponent, Louis Lopez, I know he's a tough opponent. He's 8-0, and one draw. He's real aggressive. He's, 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 he's stocky. He's aggressive. He's undefeated, and he's hungry just like me. My start in the sport started when I was 9 years old. I was a big uh, WWF wrestling fan, so my uncle came, came to my house one day. He's like, hey, let's go take a jog for the, to the gym. I was like, all right, sure, why not? Went. As soon as I seen the boxing ring, I was like, ooh, I want to try this out. My uncle signed me up right there and then, started right there. How did COVID-19 affect my daily life and training? In the beginning, it affected me a lot because I, uh, I tested positive for it, so I had a quarantine. And so I was at home, no training, doing my own thing. And I was, I was forced to stay out the gym, which was real heartbreaking, uh, heartbreaking because I was looking forward to this, you know, being this year being my, my big breakout year. There's a tension in the air because these fighters know they have to show the world they're here to stay. All six of them want nothing but a win, a celebration, a belt around their waist as they could one day be world champions. The challenge for all of them goes beyond the ring, far away from their comfort zone. They have to excel to become boxing's next big prospect and the starting point could be right now.